Hey guys, we're currently giving away the dyed AR-12 t-shirt when I got my hair dyed blue and we ruined the t-shirt. We're currently giving that away. It's from Extra Life. It's one of a kind. So if you want to win, there's a link in the description down below. To boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing. NASCAR expansion is here and oh my god, is it cool. So I wanted to take some time today, review the thing, and let's just get into it. If you don't know where this NASCAR expansion is, it is a brand new expansion for Forza Motorsport 6. It includes 24 cars. One track, a brand new story mode, your standard leagues, online, rivals, and some brand new features, and it's coming in at $20 or £15 if you're a UK type person. Before I get any further, if you want any more details about anything that I'm going to talk about in this video, there is a link in the description down below, which will take you to a written review that you can read all about the NASCAR expansion and everything that's included. So. Let's get into it and start talking about those 24 cars. When I say 24 cars, I don't actually mean 24 cars. There are actually only 3 cars with 24 different liveries. So I mean, that's pretty good, but there's actually 40-something cars in NASCAR, so we are missing a couple, but... It's a good start. The NASCARs are actually upgradable, which is really nice. You can actually toss on a bunch of parts to them, actually. You can actually engine swap them with the NASCAR engine that's already in Forza, and you can put them up to a thousand something horsepower nearly, and it's just, it's just pretty cool. I like it. The NASCARs are totally paintable too, so you can go in and paint them up with whatever liveries you guys want. I'm still waiting for somebody to put together an AR-12 livery with all the sponsors and everything. I would love something like that, it would just look so cool. But yeah, the cars are pretty good. Obviously, people will paint up the other NASCAR cars that are, like, real-life ones, so we'll, we'll technically have the full pack of 40-something cars, so that's not bad. Also, I do refer to them as NASCARs instead of stock cars. Sorry! We've also got Homestead Miami, which is actually the final race of the season in NASCAR. And in the game, it includes a rain variant and a, and a day variant. There's actually no night racing at this track, which is eh. However, though, there is actually an infield which supports some drifting tracks for Formula Drift. And oh my god, it's really cool. If you ask me personally or some NASCAR fans, you could definitely get some better tracks. They would probably say there's some better ones like Talladega or Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So Miami, good but not as good as it can be. Anyways, let's move it over to the brand new story. The new story is pretty cool. It is NASCAR versus the world. Put up a NASCAR versus a P1 versus a BMW versus a JDM car. The NASCARs actually handle really, really well. I was shocked yesterday when I did my live stream, just the way they go around corners, even right-hand corners, they go around them really, really well, and they actually have really nice grip and really nice power. They're really just nice to drive. In the story mode, there's actually some really well put together intro videos that are just cool. And in the sort of story mode, there's obviously showcases, which are really cool as well. You can do the Homestead Miami 300, or you can do a NASCAR Drivers Championship. So that's basically the good, I would say, of the pack, of the expansion. There is some bad, however. And the bad comes in sort of online, I've found. Online is bad, in my opinion, and here's why. The only lobby that they have currently set up for NASCAR is endurance lobbies, which means when you try to join a lobby, someone will already be racing and it will take them forever to finish the race. So you're just sitting there and waiting for them to finish their race. Annoying. There are no ghosts when you play online and people constantly disconnect and just go on the side of the track. So they're just obstacles, I think. Also annoying. You can also upgrade NASCARs, which is also kind of annoying because if you go in NASCARs, I don't know if you if, it, if it's just me, but I want everyone to be in like the exact same car, sort of like real NASCAR. Leagues, however, should fix all of this so you can go full ghost mode, you can f go stock NASCARs and things like that, and you can shorten down the races, but still, online's not very good for NASCARs yet. Also, let's not mention that people like to crash a lot, so if you do want to do a clean race, you'll probably have to do it with a friend. So yeah, online's sort of the only bad part of this entire expansion, but there is some more good. Forza made a new content update for May, which includes some really amazing things, like rolling starts. You can now do rolling starts in any lobby. I did one in a Golf R32 around the Alps, and you can totally do that. Super, super cool. Another thing that you can do on any track now is quick stop, or almost any track. Quick stops, if the, if the track has a pit, you can force people to pit during the race. However, there's another issue with that, where people, like, crash into you in the pits or warp through you. They don't actually, like, get stuck behind you. Like, there's no real pit strategies, which is kind of annoying, but... Eh. 
There's brand new drafting animations, which I didn't actually pick up on until people called me out for it when I didn't mention it in yesterday's Let's Play. And there's also a brand new HUD update, which shows you all the cars around you. So if you're, if you're using interior view, for instance, and there's a car in your blind spot, it will tell you that. All of these brand new features are really, really awesome and just add to the game so much. The quick stop thing is just super cool. Also, there's a brand new sort of damage model because before there was only cosmetics, so it was only things that affected the look of your car or it was full on simulation, you crash, you die, you break your car, that's it. Now there's a brand new one where it's just fuel and tires, which is super cool. So if, if you're like me and crash a lot and you don't wanna have to restart the race every five minutes when you hit a wall, and you just wanna focus on tires and gas, perfect. Oh my God, I love how that's in there. Anyways, that's about it that's included in the NASCAR expansion. There's actually quite a bit of stuff. All of those brand new features like the rolling starts, the drafting, the quick stops, all of those are actually new features that will work for anyone you don't actually need to buy the nascar expansion for that so it's awesome so in conclusion is it worth 20 dollars? well that depends because all you're really getting is just three cars a track and the brand new story stuff and if you are a fan of nascar i would definitely argue that it's definitely worth it if you're sort of on the fence about it, maybe watch a couple more videos, see what happens in the Let's Play and things like that. And if you're just like, no, NASCAR's only turn left and are really boring to look and go around an oval, then maybe skip out on this one. It's not for everyone, I'll be honest. I will say, though, that Turn 10 did do an amazing job with these cars. They are super awesome to drive. They handle amazing. You can paint them. The new track is awesome as well. It's just really, really good, and I love all of those new features. So, I don't know. I would give it a solid 8 on 10. Like I said, if you want to read more about anything that I mentioned in this video, check out the link in the description down below for a full, in-depth written review from Alan, who went in, tested everything, and tried to break the game. So check out what he had to say in the description down below. Anyways, guys, we'll actually also be giving a copy of the NASCAR expansion pack away soon, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you guys want to see some more videos like this in your subscription box. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one with some more NASCAR. Later today, I'm going to try and drift some NASCARs. That's probably gonna go quite badly. Yep, see you then.